and um, I'm gonna put them in the boiling water. And then when I get done doing that, I am going to add, I'm going to cook on the skillet some shrimp. And I put a little bit of oil in here, some olive oil and garlic. And we're gonna let that cook first. I'm using a whole box. Now we're going to let that boil and then turn it down. Then, oil, and it's going to be heated fairly well. There's a little bit of black on it. I'm going to try to get the black off the paper towel as much as possible, so that way I know that it's clean. And then when I get done, I'll, I'll rinse it and wash it out, and then I'll make sure I put it back on the stove, and I heat it, and I repeat the same process for seasoning it, so when it sits overnight, the oil is in the casserole. All right, I'm gonna turn my heat up a little bit. My paper towel looks fairly well. Now I'm going to add some um, olive oil to this about uh, just however much you need. I, I would normally use butter, but we're cutting back again. So olive oil is always the best choice. And the heating, whenever you're using olive oil, it heats, um, it can withstand heat better. Okay. And so my skillet's heated up really well. And it's just a little splatter, it's not major because I don't want to heat the skillet right away. I'm going to pour the whole bag here. Now I'm going to add garlic to my shrimp to give it a little bit of flavor. I like it. Oh, very tasty. Welcome everyone. This is uh, Cooking with Paula Darlene and I'm Paula and today we've got um, a little recipe I want to share. Uh, there is a um, recipe online today that I saw and I tweaked it to how I wanted to do it. So um, first we've got some noodles here and they're the garden variety uh, noodles and um, they've got all different types of vegetables in them and so forth. So. That being said, I've already cooked them, and I just regularly boiled them. Uh, then I'm going to add some freshly chopped uh, greens, onions. I have some bacon that I made. And then I have some tomatoes. I chopped, and they're just cherry tomatoes. Then I have some zucchini I added. Um, I thought I'd like the little crunch. There's that. And then I added some, um, I'm gonna add some avocado. And the avocado was um, cut, chopped up, and it's two of them. And I put a little lemon on it so it wouldn't brown. Just a little tip. For some green. Um, they use lettuce. Um, I thought it was kind of like, no. Nah. But what I did want to use was um, some fresh 
baby spinach. Now the baby spinach I did soak before I used it because it is um, grown in sand and they always tell you to add, uh, rinse it before you use it um, just so it's just a precaution um, because of the granule sands. Then for the topper, um, I wanted something a little bit extra, a little bit more protein because we're using it as our number one main dish, you know, one pot dish. So what I did was is I went and I got some shrimp and um, I added the shrimp, uh, I added it because I thought it would be a little bit more protein and a little bit more hearty of a meal. Okay. And I'm going to mix this up just gently. Put it back in there. Now, there is a sauce to this. Okay, so the way their sauce was, is um, they used, um, and I'm just gonna estimate about a half a cup of mayonnaise. And then they added about, I'm gonna estimate about a fourth cup of ranch. Now, <laughs> this is gonna be different. They added a little bit of baking grease, just a tad. And I'm gonna whisk this up. portions of the mayonnaise to it in the ranch. All right, bring back the star of the show. Like I always say, make it to your own. And I, use, I chose spinach. Um, it's just got more iron for you. It's a better crunch and it holds up to a um, heartier meal. Lettuce to me just seems like it would just wilt really bad and just be soggy to me. Put that back in there. Now I called for cheese. I think the cheese was over, um, a little overdone for it. But um, to me, it's fine without the cheese, but if it's something you wanted to add, I'd be more than happy to. All right. I'm gonna season it with olive oil. Never, I never let the cast iron dry on its own because it will rust. And if you keep it seasoned, it won't rust. <clears throat> and as you can tell, the water just it takes a little bit of time for it to go. burner but I'm going to turn the heat off because the burner is still hot. 
Don't burn yourself doing this. I'm just gonna put just a tad of oil. Ooh, it's so light. Just a tad of oil in that. You know it's getting hot when it runs. And we're just gonna smear it around. This is very, 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 very hot. See how the, the paper towel's coming out clean? It's a good sign. And if it pops, it means all the water didn't come out. All right, I'm gonna let it sit on the burner while it's cooling off. Don't catch it on fire. And it's clean. I know some people say don't put it in water, but I'm old fashioned and soap and water always gets everything clean. All right, that's it. And it'll sit on the burner until it cools off and then I'll put it in the oven and let it sit there till I'm ready to use it again. Bye.